Stefan Hammond, Managing Editor of Telecom Asia. We're here with Mr. George Chundu, Senior Solutions Architect, Huawei Southern Pacific Region. Mr. Chundu, mobile broadband is growing rapidly in Asia. How can service providers improve service quality for end users? First of all, uh, what I've seen uh, in my role in Huawei, because I'm, I'm, I'm responsible for several countries in Asia, uh, in my role as a senior solution architect. So we deal with a lot of customers. And what we have seen is, uh, first of all, um, a lot of service providers, they are trying um, to provide the best possible services that they can provide to our customers because, first of all, they have a lot of competition from, the, you know, uh, from other players as well in this industry. So most of the countries in Asia, um, service providers uh, face a stiff competition. So they don't really need much motivation to provide good services to their customers. Now, to answer your question, um, um, I think uh, service providers need to look at the customers themselves. So if you look at Asia, uh, Asia is definitely one of the fastest growing um, regions in the world uh, in terms of broadband. Um, countries like Japan, uh, South Korea, Australia, New Zealand, they are pretty much at the forefront in cutting edge uh, technologies in, in mobile broadband. Things like LTE Advanced and things like that. Uh, technologies like that are very, very popular in uh, South Korea and Japan in particular and also in Australia. So um, what service providers can do is to look at the actual services and, and the customer uh, expectations of whilst they're using those services. Uh, for example, uh, customers in Asia, they demand higher broadband. Um, so that is something that obviously service providers need to look at to make sure that they meet the broadband demand. But it's not just about bandwidth. It's also about uh, meeting all the various um, service requirements. Each service is different in terms of the requirements uh, that they require to guarantee uh, the experience or the good experience of that particular service. For example, with voice, it's about the crystal clear um, experience. When you're making a phone call, you want it to be smooth, you want it to be clear. Uh, with, when you're, with video applications, it's about how smooth the video is without any freezing of the image and things like that. Um, and of course, with internet, it's about how, how, you know, how fast the data browsing and downloading of movies and things like that. So I think service providers need to look at uh, the user demand and then try to meet that demand uh, as, 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 as much as they can. How can we measure and quantify real-time service performance? So I think we need to start at looking at uh, the various service requirements. Like, for example, if you want to measure and quantify a video service performance, for example, you have to look at what do the users care about. If a person is watching a YouTube video, uh, one of the things that they don't like, they don't like to see is um, how many times does it freeze. And also another thing that is important is when you click on the video, how long does it take for the video to actually play? So that is important. So uh, some of the things that you can do is to put that in a mathematical equation where you can actually measure and quantify the performance of that particular service. Now, just switching gears to, uh, let's say, voice. What do people care about when they're making a, a voice call? Um, um, what is called the mouth-to-ear latency, how long it takes when I, make, when I speak, uh, and how long does it take for the receiver to actually hear what I, what I say, so things like that and also the call success ratio and things like that. So with each service, uh, you can actually measure, if you have the right tools in place in your network, you can actually measure um, uh, and basically like, put a figure to the quality of that particular service. So this is something that uh, Huawei is actually looking at. And how do we map that to real-time network performance? We have other tools that focus on measuring the network performance. So you have a network and you have all these different types of services running on the network and then we can measure uh, things like delay due to packet loss, bandwidth utilization in real time uh, of all the various services that are running on the network. And then what we can do is to map that to the service uh, performance. So we call the service performance uh, key quality indicator or KQI and the network performance KPI. Uh, so we can actually, uh, if you have the right tools in place in your network, you can actually map the network performance to the service performance. So you know, um, for example, if you have this kind of performance, the users are using YouTube and things like that, and then the experience is, 
is bad, you can actually see where in the network is causing that kind of problem. So we have the technology in place in Huawei to actually do that. Please describe the best experience mobile bearer solution. We look at best experience mobile bearer solution from two aspects. The first one is from the user, from the end user's point of view. So what do the user care about? The user doesn't really care about the kind of technologies that are running, uh, that are being implemented on the network. What the user cares about is, you know, how fast is their, is their internet speed? Uh, how, how clear, how smooth is their voice call? Uh, when they're watching a, a, a video, uh, online streaming, Netflix or et cetera, um, can they get HD content and is it smooth? Uh, so this is what the user cares about. They don't really care how that is done, but they care about what they get. So um, best mobile experience, as far as the user is concerned, is about um, the, you know, how uh, we can uh, guarantee that uh, the user gets, from his perspective, he gets that uh, best experience from the services. And then uh, that's one, one, one part of the best user experience um, um, uh, solution to guarantee the user experience, the end user experience for the services that they're using. Uh, secondly is uh, looking at the service provider who's providing those services to the user. So for the service provider is uh, the best O&M experience. What do we mean by an O&M is operation and maintenance. So when the, when the service provider is managing the network, um, first of all, they need to make sure that they have a visible network where they see real time exactly what's going on across the entire network. And if there are any faults in the network, they can locate those faults. Um, uh, in, a, in a very fast and proactive way. So that is the best uh, uh, R&M experience from the service provider's point of view. So I think um, we believe in Huawei that uh, a best mobile uh, experience includes both from the user's perspective and from the service provider's perspective. So it's an end-to-end -end, uh, concept that should include uh, these two uh, 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 parts.